Joe Biden and his administration are making foreign policy blunder after foreign policy blunder. It's getting stupid. So let me explain. So uh, earlier, uh, maybe a week or two ago, Biden Biden released the an intelligence report that pin, that linked Mohammed bin Salman, the crown prince of Saudi Arabia, to the murder of uh, Jamal Khashoggi. An American journalist, U.S. resident, Turkish resident, all of that. And, you know, um, so he released that report, which is a good thing because Trump wouldn't release it because he was in the pocket of the Saudi Arabians. Um, And so it was a good thing that Biden released that so we could at least have a definite answer, right? And you would think, oh, now that he's released that, now Biden's actually going to do something. Well... Apparently, Biden's also in their pockets because Biden is going to do absolutely nothing. No sanctions, no punishment, no nothing to him. Even just a tepid slap on the wrist. Nothing to the Saudi crown prince. So, um, now, one thing with, with this is, we all know how Biden did that bombing of Saudi, of, of not Saudi, but oh, I wish. Um, of Syria, right? And, you know, it. Aaron Mate put out a tweet saying, maybe this is like a sorry slash payback gift, you know, like a kind of a sorry apology gift where um, it's like, hey, man, Biden's like, hey, dude, Ben Salman, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I released that intelligence report, dude. I, I just had to do it to a, a, a piece of progressives. But uh, you're still my boy. You're still our ally. You know, we're, we're good. We're good. Let me hear. I'm, you know what? I'm going to. I'm going to pay you back. I'm going to go bomb who you want me to bomb. You want me to bomb Saudi Arabia or or Syria? (laughs) Why do I keep saying that? You want me to go bomb Shia militias? I'm going to go bomb Shia militias. So So it could be that Joe Biden bombed Syria to appease and say, I'm sorry to Saudi Arabia and the crown prince. If that's true, if that's true, that would be the saddest, stupidest thing Ever from Joe Biden, Joe Biden, who like for for you to do that. But anyway, if that's true, that would be horribly stupid. And so you you could be asking, okay, Jason, well you're saying he didn't do nothing. What what could Biden do? Come on, right? Well, the first thing he could do is kick Saudi Arabia off of the Human Rights Council in the UN. They they don't deserve the position. They don't deserve to be there. So he could kick them out. The second thing he could do is sanction the crown prince you can't do business in the u.s but of course of course he wouldn't do that or just any kind of sanction and sanction the leadership of saudi arabia another thing he could do is end all all weapon sales to saudi arabia pretty much because guys the u.s is has been funding the war in yemen the u.s has been selling weapons to saudi arabia so that they can then go and and turn it over and then go and fund their genocide in Yemen. It's a freaking genocide. We've got they've got famine, destruction, uh, their economic disparity, uh, death, starvation, hunger. You've got all of those. They've got an embargo. You can't get food or medicine or supplies in there. So, um, you know, and forgive the noise. People just don't realize I'm filming. Even though I've told them. Anyway, uh, but you, like, there's a genocide in Yemen and the U.S. has been helping out with that. So, if you end all weapon sales, that would work. Now, of course, Biden tried to come out and say, I'm going to end our support for Yemen. The war, uh, uh, our, uh, uh, end our support for the war in Yemen, even though he started it with Obama in, like, 2015, uh, 2016. But, um, he, um... So he said, I'm going to stop it. Don't worry. But then he does another measly ass thing where he, he says, okay, we're, gonna, we, we're not going to help them offensively, but we're going to help them defensively. Well, that means that anything can be counted as defensive. No, I'm not just giving them weapons. I'm defending them. See what I mean? But what Biden is doing is he's allowing Raytheon to set up shop and build a, a company out there, a plant out there in Saudi Arabia. So that they can train the Saudi Arabians how to build weapons. So they can then turn around and use on the Yemenis. You get it? And by the way, 
We're not just selling them weapons. We're giving them money and weapons, which they're then turning around and giving them to Al Nusra, ISIS, Al Qaeda. You know, all, all, all of all of the terrorist organizations that the U.S. claims that they're on the war path with, even though they're helping to supply them. We claim we're fighting ISIS in Syria, but then we're bombing Syria, who's fighting ISIS, but then we're also giving ISIS money through Saudi Arabia. Okay. Now, uh, I know, and you guys most likely know, and if you don't, I'm going to tell you, the U.S. has a big relationship with Saudi Arabia because of the oil and the petrodollar and other natural resources that the U.S. relies on from Saudi Arabia. So, this is part, this is why uh, another reason why they're probably not doing anything to Saudi Arabia because they murdered our journalist and yet Joe Biden's going to do nothing. This is how weaselly and this is how weak Joe Biden is. Weak. And see, this would be cause for impeachment, but Republicans are going to do that. Why aren't Republicans going to do that? Because they love seeing him bomb people. They're going to come out and oppose this stimulus saying, oh, this and that, he's spending too much money. Oh, but he bombed Syria? Well, shit, Biden, thank you. The Republicans in, in the base, the Republican Party, the base, doesn't want to see any more bombings of any more countries. They want to get out of the wars, but the Republican politicians, they want to see that. They're like, ha ha, hell yeah. But Joe Biden is not doing anything to the royal crown prince of Saudi Arabia, Mohammed bin Salman, for murdering our journalist. Nothing. He's doing nothing. Isn't it incredible how he's doing absolutely zero? And this is Joe Biden effing up U.S. policy over and over and over and over and over again. He bombs Syria. He doesn't rejoin the Iran nuclear deal. He doesn't hold Saudi Arabia accountable. He's still fun- helping with the war in Yemen, quote, defensively. And I don't, I don't even know why we're helping Saudi Arabia. They've got defense. They, they, they've got it. They've got their own missiles. They have their own military. They, they don't need the United States. But of course, the United States is going to do it. So, there we go. Uh, this is Joe Biden effing up on foreign policy because he's a warmonger and he can't help himself.